Waiting lists are growing in necessity and ScoreChaser offers an integrated solution. For this example, we are starting in Tournament Management on the Events page. To start a waiting list, Pro Club simply switch on the toggle to allow waitlist. This is found on the registration tab of the event setup slip. This activates the club's ability to add and manage waiting lists and also allows shooters to add themselves to a waiting list when signing up or updating their registration. For amenities, it is much the same process. Edit the amenity and toggle on allow waitlist. In both scenarios, this allows a club to add a person to a waiting list and also allow shooters to add themselves to any waiting list. Let's take a quick look at the public side of waiting lists. In this registration slip, you'll notice each event where a wait list has been activated. When shooters add themselves to a waiting list, they are prompted with three options. The first is to add to the event, but keep other event times as selected. The second option is to add me and adjust event times which means they'll take any open slot that becomes available and the club is free to move their other events around. Lastly, a shooter can request to be added to a specific rotation. The dropdown provides the corresponding rotation options for that event. We'll jump back into tournament management now. Once a waitlist is activated, you'll notice waitlist requests a few places throughout tournament management. The first is under event details. Click on the blue number on waitlist link to expand the list. These 17 shooters have requested to be on the waiting list for the main event. Hooker requested to be added only if he can have a spot on the 1030 Friday rotation. Jared Strickland is registered for the main as you can see is currently scheduled to start at 8 a.m. Friday, but would prefer a one o'clock start time. On the event detail page, waitlist requests are listed in order of when the request was generated from left to right. Selecting any name on the list will jump you into their entrant record where you can adjust their registration or manage their waiting list preferences and status. If the shooter has changed their mind about their preference, you would select edit to update the waiting list request. Or, if you can work them into the event, you would select Remove to take them off the waiting list. You can also add entrants to the waiting list from the Event Details page by selecting Add to Waitlist. Use the Lookup field to find and select the entrant. Update their preferences and click on Add to Waitlist. The next place you will see waiting list request is on entrant details. Since we just added Joe to the waiting list, we'll search for his record and go into his details. Under his contact information, you will see any wait list he is on for events or amenities. If we edit Joe and go to events and rotations, we see that Joe is on the waiting list for the main event marked by the clock icon. Again, you can update his preferences or remove him from the waitlist from the entrance slip. To add a person to a waiting list, they must have an entrant record. If they are not already registered for the tournament, click on Add Entrant. Look up their data and move to Events and Rotations. Click on Add to Waitlist, set the preference, and click on Add to Waitlist. Finally, waitlist can be found on the squatting page. Select the clock icon on the right side of the page to expose or hide the waiting list. Select a shooter on the list and you'll see their waiting list preferences in the squatting drawer. From the drawer, you can also edit these preferences or remove the shooter from the list. Clicking on an open space in the squatting board allows you to switch a shooter already registered for the event to their preferred time. or register and squad them simultaneously. When the shooter is not currently registered for the event, you'll see a pop-up that allows you to register and squad to simultaneously add the shooter to the event and squad them per their waitlist request. On the squatting page, 
Entrants are listed in order of when the re waitlist request was generated from top to bottom. With our new waitlist system, you can leave slots available always set to the maximum capacity. Scorechaser counts each request on the list, handles by preference type, and saves those slots from public registration. Waiting list for amenities works much the same way. Click on any clock on the right-hand side of the page and use the lookup function to add a shooter to the waiting list. Select the blue number on waitlist link to expand the waiting list for any amenity option.